Hello, everyone, and welcome to NIAS First Spelling Bee. My name is Sandra Adigari, and I am the Vice President of NIA, and I am also a junior at Chantilly High School. I am so excited to be here with you all. I would just like to thank all the participants and everyone who made this event possible. Now, I would like to introduce the President of NIA, Pragipti Tsapagai. Hi guys, my name is Pragipti Tsapagai and I'm the president and former communications director of NIA. I would like to start off by thanking our Spelling Bee organizers, participants, and viewers for being with us today. I would love to share about what Nepali American Youth Association, NIA, is about. Um, NIA is a nonprofit organization founded in August of 2019. And as of right now, we have about 16 members. Our, mo our main focus is around Nepali culture as well as humanitarian issues. As we continue to build our organization, we have hosted a Black Lives Matter presentation and discussion seminar in order to spread awareness about the Black Lives Matter movement in the Nepali community. We also have an ongoing Animal Nepal campaign where we are trying to help um, uh, animals in Nepal that are living in poor conditions. And we also have an upcoming Hope for Homeless event where we are going to go to the DC metropolitan, metropolitan area um, and supplying them with uh, care packages of basic necessities. We will also have, be doing a fitness event and virtual dance workshop in order to spread, I mean, in order to raise money for underprivileged kids in Nepal in order to provide them with shoes, backpacks, and socks. Um, if you would like to support any of our upcoming projects or events, uh, we would be so, so grateful. Again, thank you to everyone for taking part in this event. A huge thank you to the, the Naya Nepali Spelling Bee planning team who has worked so hard to make this event happen. Good luck to everyone. And I will now like to pass the mic on to Shosa Asare, our one of our co-hosts for this event. Thank you. Thank you, Pragya. Hi, everyone. My name is Shrestha Atare. I'm a seventh grader at Willard Middle School, and I'm one of the program directors for NIA. We are so excited to be hosting NIA's first ever spelling bee. I would like to pass the mic to my co-host for this event, Summer D. Ar Thank you so much, Trisa. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here tonight, and I hope everyone's excited for the spelling bee. I'm a student at Lunsford Middle School, and um, one of the programs director here at NIA. In the spelling bee, the contestants had a chance to win $100, but the participants aren't the only ones that can win prizes. We will have a raffle for the viewers on Facebook Live. You can enter in the raffle by Venmoing NIA only $2. Our Venmo is NIA2020 and it's listed on the screen. When Venmoing Naya, be sure to write your name in the description of Venmo. Once you finish Venmoing Naya, comment done in the Facebook live chat, and that's it. At the end of the event, we will spin a spinner to see who will win the raffle. The raffle winner will receive a special prize. Make sure to follow Naya's Facebook and Instagram for exclusive details on our upcoming events. Um, now let's introduce the judges. Lolith Adikari is currently studying at Virginia Tech University. He was the captain for his robotic, robotics team in high school. He was also the former president of NIA, and he wishes all of the contestants. Our second judge for tonight is Neha Atare. She's currently studying at George Mason University. She did DECA for all four years of high school. She was also the former vice president of NOYA and is very excited to see everyone compete this evening. Before we start the spelling bee, I would like to thank Inepolis for providing a platform for us and other Nepali organizations. Let's not waste any more time and begin. Our first contestant is Parth Atare. Parth is a third grader at Buffalo Trail Elementary School. He enjoys playing soccer and football. The judge will now give you your Hello, Parth. Um, your award is funny.
Actually, I think he would have was having some connection issues. Was he able to join? No. Let's go on to our next contestant then. Okay. Um, yeah, unfortunately he was unable to join. Our next contestant is um, our next contestant is Prithak Shrista. He's a third grader at Weems Elementary School and loves math. The judge will now give you your word. Hey, Pritak, your word is school. S H C O S H C O O L. Um, can you say it in this format? The word. Spell the word and then say the word again. Okay. So say school and go ahead. S C H O O L. School. Um, that is correct. Thank you. Um, but just a quick reference before we move on. Um, please say the word, spell the word, and then say the word again. Okay, cool. Next up, we have Arya Acharya. Arya enjoys coloring and reading, and she's a third grader at Brookfield Elementary. And Arya, the judge. Hi, Arya. Your word will be only. Only? Yes, only. O L Y. Only. Did you? Correct, you'll be moving on to the next round. Thank you. Going up next is Abbas Ariel. Abbas is a third grader who enjoys painting and singing. The judge will now give you your word. Good luck. Um, hey, hey Abbas, your word is age. Age? Yes. A-G-E-H. -E that is correct. Good job, you'll be moving on to the next round. Thank you. Our next contestant is Anusa Adhikari. Anusa is a third grader and she goes to Fairfax Villa Elementary School. She likes dancing and biking and... Hi Anusha, your word will be empty. E-M-T-Y, empty. Uh, nice try, but that is not the correct spelling of the word. You will not be moving on to the next round. Please turn off your camera and mute your mic. Next up, we have Aditi Kanal, who is a fourth grader. Hey, not, I don't think she's here. She wasn't here for the attendance. Aditi, are you here? Okay, it looks like Aditi is not here today. Um, who is the next contestant? Um, next up is Sadiksia Basel. Sadiksia is a fourth grader at Moorfield Station Elementary and she enjoys gaming. The judge will give you your word now. Hey Sadiksia, your word will be library. Library. L I B R A R Y. Library. That is correct. You will be moving on to the next round. Our next contestant is Sampada Kumar. Sampada is a fifth grader at Brookfield Elementary School. She enjoys reading and playing volleyball. The judge will now give you your word. Good luck. Hi, Sampada. Your word, your word will be subtract. S U B uh, S U B R A C T subtract. Nice try, but unfortunately that is not the correct spelling of the word. You will not be moving on to the next round. Please turn off your camera and mute your mic. Now we have Sabrina Adhikari. 
Sabrina enjoys reading, and she's a fifth grader at Buffalo Trail Elementary. And the hey, Sabrina, your word will be bridge. Um, excuse me, can you repeat that? Your word is bridge. Bleach. Bridge, like um, a structure that provides passage over a river or a road. Oh, bridge. B, bridge. B, R, I, G, oh, wait, no, sorry. Bridge. B, R, I, D, G, E, bridge. That is correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. Next up is Arman Atare. Arman enjoys reading and playing volleyball, and he's a fifth grader at Brookfield Elementary School. The judge will now give you your word. Hi, Arman. Your word will be future. Future. F U F U. F U T U R E. Correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. Um, now we have Arpan Babu Prasai, but I am not sure if he's here. Arpan, are you here? Um, I don't think he is. So I guess that's the end of the first round. So now we'll be starting the second round. Good luck. Okay, before we start off the second round, I just want to remind our contestants that you are allowed to ask for the definition of the word, the part of speech, and to use the word in a sentence. Um, so our next contestant will be Wait, um, it looks like Parth was able to come in. Can we still let him do it? Because we didn't. Um, we didn't let sure, him. because we didn't finish the first round. We'll, we'll allow this one. Um, okay. Parth, your word. Um, um, Parth, your word is um steep steep s t e e p steep that is correct you'll be moving on to the next round um now we will be starting our second round um so i said do you want to introduce the first contender for the second round really quick um, yes, the first contestant for the second round. Oh, Samridhi. It's Breathuck, I believe, right? Just making sure. Yes, it's Breathuck. Okay, um, Neha, go ahead. All right, Breathuck, your word is going to be support. S U P. P O R T. Correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. After first up, we have Aria. Um, Aria, your word will be yoke. Yoke? Like, like, you... like egg yolk? Um, a egg. drink made of eggs, milk, or cream, and sugar. Okay. Y O A K? I mean, yeah. Um, unfortunately, that is incorrect. Um, uh, you will be not, you won't be moving on to the next round. Uh, please mute your mic and turn off your camera. Um, thank you for participating.
All right, Abash, your word will be beyond. Beyond, B-E-Y-O-N-D, -E beyond. Correct, you'll be moving on to the next round. Our next contestant is Aditi. Um, Aditi, your word will be? Aditi is not here, so I think we should just remove her. Yep. Okay. Um, our next contestant is Sadiqcha. Sadiqcha, your word will be escape. Escape. E-S-C-A-P-E. -E. Escape. That is correct. Um, you'll be moving on to the next round. Okay, Sabrina, your word will be weird. Weird. W-E-I-R-D, weird. Correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. Our next contestant will be Arman. Arman, your uh, word will be um, nomad. Oh, can you tell me the definition? Um, nomad, a member of people or a tribe that has no permanent home, but moves about from place to place. Nomad. N-O-M-A-D. That is correct. We'll be moving on to the next round. All right, Barth, your word will be engine. Engine. E-N-G-E-N-E. Um, nice try, but that is not the correct spelling of the word. You will not be moving on to the next round. Please turn off your camera and mute your mic. Um, now we are moving on to the next round. And so we will start off with um, Ritak. Ritak, your word will be concept. C O N S E P T. Nice try, Peter Tuck, but that is not the correct spelling of the word. Um, you will not be moving on to the next round. Please turn off your camera and mute your mic. Um, and our next contestant, um, go ahead. Okay, Abash, your word will be athlete. Athlete, A-T-H-E-L-E. -E. Nice try, Abash, but unfortunately that is not the correct spelling of the word. You will not be moving on to the next round. Please turn off your camera and mute your mic. Um, our next contestant is Sadiqa. Sadiqa, your word will be vacuum. Vacuum. V-A-C-C-U-M. Vacuum. Nice try, but that is not the correct spelling of the word. You will not be moving on to the next round. Please turn off your camera and mute your mic. All right, Sabrina, your word will, will be urban. Um, excuse me, can you um, say that again? Yes, your word will be urban. Urban, U-R-B-A-N, urban. That is correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. Our next contestant is Armand. Arman, your word is lantern. Lantern, L-A-N-T, oh, lantern, L-A-N-T-U-R-N. 
nice try, but that is not the correct spelling of the word. Um, you will not be moving on to the next round. So please turn off the camera and mute, or mute your mic. Um, so I actually think that is everyone from grades three to five. Is there anyone else besides Sabrina? Currently in the round? Oh. I think that is everyone from this group. Yeah, so we have completed the spelling bee for grades three to five. We would like for all the contest contestants to know that we are part of each and every single one of you. Yeah, great job. Congratulations. Congratulations to Sabrina Adikari for winning the three to fifth grade spelling division. Whoa. Thank you. Yeah, you were spectacular tonight. The next group is going to be six to eighth graders. Yes, good luck to the next group of contestants. Now I would like to pass the spotlight to one of Naya's advisors, Indu Pokhil, to talk about our sponsors. Hello, namaste. Um, everyone, my name is Indu. I sit on the advisory board for Naya. Um, I actually just wanna say how incredible everyone has been. I just, you guys participating, you guys putting yourselves out there, you are already a winner. And I just cannot be more proud of everyone for doing what you guys are doing today. And it's not just the spelling bee. I've seen you guys do speech contests, debate contests, and, and everything, dance, singing, um, and stuff. So it's really nice to see uh, all of our Nepali American kids coming together and putting on these events. Um, but with that being said, I just want to thank all our sponsors for um, the support and love that they've given us for today's event. Um, I would actually like to start off with, um, once, once the screen has been shared, there we go, um, uh, just a huge hand in making our Spelling Bee event possible. So thank you, thank you so much for your love and support. Our first sponsor, uh, sponsor spotlight is Kush Acharya. Kush is a very knowledgeable, knowledgeable and experienced public adjuster and real estate agent here in the DMV area. If you know him, you already love him and he's super friendly. His smile just lights up the world. Um, and if you have a home, then you probably have insurance that you're paying. You're paying the premium, you're, you have a mortgage, but most of the time people don't know their coverage. I know. I mean, we don't really know Know exactly what we're paying for, right? So, um, and people aren't making making the claims, but even if they do make claims, they're not getting everything out of it. I know. So if you have anything from hail damage, wind damage, fire, smoke, bathroom leakage, tree fall, and anything else that falls into that category, he is able to help. And all of these things can be compensated really well. For example, I'm regarding my leakage white aquatio, and we thought, you know. It's okay, it's okay, insurance says I know one, and we just left it. But then we had Kush come into our house and he actually said, no, you can actually file a claim with my company. And there you had it. We had we got compensated very well and we were actually able to replace everything in our house. Um, so don't wait. If I were you, I wouldn't wait. Um, go ahead and give him a call. I'm gonna send everybody his phone number and all the information that you need. Um, and he, because he does free policy review and free home inspection. So even if it's very small, um, go ahead and reach out to him and he will be able to help you and your home and your friend's homes. So thank you so much for your support and your love. Um, and if you guys have any questions, please reach out to me or anyone else on the Naya team. Um, uh, next, I would love to thank uh, America, American Nepali Enterprise, a family member group that strives to help, help each other through entrepreneurship, real estate, and loan approvals. Uh, thank you so much for your help. Your continued effort and love and support means everything to us. Um, and then I would love to um, just thank our individual donors um, that are on the next slide. 
Um, so Sushant Batarai, Alish Giri, Bickle Bodel, and myself, um, uh, thank you to everybody for donating and making our event successful today. Um, without you, this wouldn't have been possible. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Sharissa, I'll pass over the mic to you now. Um, now, um, the six to eight grade round will start off. I'm going to pass the mic to Professor Beaton. Thank you, Shissa. Hi, everyone. Welcome back from the break. Again, thank you to all our sponsors who helped make this event possible. I hope everyone enjoyed the first half of the spelling bee and is ready to start the second half. Aria and I will be your host for the second half, which is for the sixth through eighth graders. My name is Brasi Tapagai. I'm an eighth grader at JML Middle School and the treasurer of Naya. Now I'll pass to my co-host, Aria. Thank you, Prasidi. Hi, everyone. I'm Arya Gimire. I'm a ninth grader at Freedom High School and one of the programs director of Naya. I'm so excited to be co-hosting our first ever Spelling Bee. I hope everyone is ready to begin. I would like to thank Inepolis again for providing us a platform and helping us with this event. So without any further ado, let's begin. Our first contestant is Arnav Gotham. He's a sixth grader at Pennington Traditional School, and he enjoys playing football. The judge will now give you your word. Hi, Arnav. Your word will be convict. Convict. C-O-N-V-I-C-T. Convict. Correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. Um, going up next is Akshat Dungana. He's a sixth grader at Unity Braxton Middle School, and he enjoys playing chess and Roblox. Good luck. Hello, so your word will be um, vaccine. Did, did you hear me? Yes. Um... Okay, just a reminder, you can ask me to repeat the word. You can ask for the definition, part of speech and to use it in a sentence. Okay, vaccine, V-A-C-C-I-N-E, vaccine. That is correct. Congratulations, you'll be moving on to the next round. Next is Avani Gautam. She's a sixth grader at Pennington Traditional School and she likes playing gymnastics. The judge will now give you your word. Hi, hey, Avani. Your word will be ankle. Ankle. A N K L E. Ankle. All right, so you'll be moving on to the next round. Great job, Avani. Let's welcome RG Barsai, who is a seventh grader at Rocky Run Middle School. Um, I'm not sure if she's here because she wasn't here for the attendance. RG, are you here? I guess if not, then we can move on to Rihanna Pandari. Anna, do you want to introduce Rihanna? Uh, now we have Rihanna Bandari, a seventh grader who likes shopping. Good luck. Um, Rihanna, your word will be champion. Um, okay. C-H-A-M-P-I-O-N, champion. That is correct. Congratulations. You'll be moving on to the next round. Great job, Rihanna. Our sixth contestant is Vinisha Adhikari. She's a seventh grader at Frost Middle School and she likes to play games. Hi, Vinisha. Your word is going to be office. Office, O-F-F-I-C-E, office. Correct, you'll be moving on to the next round. Our last contestant is Dina Adhikari. Um, she's an eighth grader at Willard Middle School and she likes to cook and play soccer. Hey, Dina, your word will be paragraph. Paragraph? Okay. Uh, 
P A R A G R A P H paragraph. That is correct. Congratulations. You'll be moving on to the next round. Um, that marks the end of our first round. We will now be moving on to our sec second round. Okay, Arnav, your word will be design. Design. D-E-S-I-G-N. Design. Correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. Um, our next contestant is, um, can you remind me how to say your name again? One more time. Akshat. Akshat. Your, your word will be faucet. Can you repeat that? Faucet. Can you say it in a sentence? Um, my kitchen has a leaky faucet. Faucet, F-O-S-S-I-T, faucet. Nice try, but that is not the correct spelling of the word. Um, so you will not be moving on to the next round. Please turn off your camera and move your microphone. All right, Avani, your word is going to be liquid. Liquid. L-I-Q-U-I-D, liquid. Correct, you'll be moving on to the next round. Um, our next contestant will be Rihanna. Um, your word is what? As in the unit of power, not like what? W-A-T-T. Yep, that is correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. All right, Benisha, your word is going to be giraffe. Could you repeat that again? Yes, your word is going to be giraffe. As in the animal, right? Yes, as in the animal. G I R A F F E, giraffe. Correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. Our next contestant will be Dina. Dina, your word is empower. Empower. Okay. I M P O W E R, empower. Nice try, but that is not the correct spelling of the word. Uh, you will not be moving on to the next round. Please turn off your camera and mute your mic. All right, I believe that concludes our second round. We'll be moving on to the third round. Um, so Arnav, your word will be destiny. Destiny, D-E-S-T-I-N-Y, destiny. Correct, you'll be moving on to the next round. Our next contestant is Avani. Avani, your word will be satire. Satire, S-A-T-I-R-E. That is correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. All right, Rihanna, your word, your word will be justice. J-U-S-T-I-C-E. Correct. You'll be moving on. All right, Benicia, your word will be autopsy. Autopsy. A U T O P S Y, autopsy. That is correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. All right, going into our next round, Arnav, your word will be disease. Disease, D I S E A S E, disease. That is correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. 
Our next contestant will be Avani. Avani, your word is abstract. Abstract, A, B, S, T, A, R, A, C, T, abstract. Can you repeat that one more time, please? Abstract, A, B, S, T, R, A, C, T, abstract. That is correct. You will be moving on to the next round. All right, Rihanna, your word is going to be protein. Okay, protein. P R O T I E N E, protein. Nice try, but that is not the correct spelling of the word. You will unfortunately not be moving on to the next round. Please turn off your camera and mute your mic. Okay, Benisha, your next word is cyclops. Cyclops, C-Y-C-L-O-P-S, Cyclops. Great job, that is correct. You will be moving on to the next round. All right, moving on to our next round. Arnav, your word is going to be poison. Poison, P-O-I-S-O-N, poison. Correct, you'll be moving on to the next round. Our next contestant, Avani, your word will be ivory. Um, can you please say that in a sentence? Um, one second. Ivory's value rises up um, due to the decline of elephant population. Ivory, I V E R. Why? Nice try, but that is not the correct spelling of the word ivory. Um, you will not be moving on to the next round, so please turn off your camera and mute your mic. All right, Benisha, your word is going to be perfume. Perfume. P-E-R-F-U-M-E, -E, perfume. Correct, you'll be moving on to the next round. Our next contestant, Arnav, your word will be momentum. Momentum, M-O-M-E-N-T-U-M, -E momentum. That is correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. All right, Benisha, your word is going to be kitchen. Kitchen, K-I-T-C-H-E-N, kitchen. Correct, you'll be moving on to the next round. Okay, Arnav, your word will be treason. Treason, T-R-E-A-S-O-N, treason. That is correct. Um, you will be moving on to the next round. Okay, Benisha, your word is going to be feminine. Feminine. F-E-M-I-N-I-N-E, -I -I -E, feminine. That is correct. You'll be moving on to the next round. Arnav, your word is inaugurate. Inaugurate. I-N-A-U-G-A-R-A-T-E, inaugurate. Nice try, but that is not the correct spelling of the word. Um, Let's see how Benisha does, and we'll see if you move on to the next round or not. Okay, Benisha, your word is going to be immortal. Immortal. I-M-M-O-R-T-A-L. Immortal. All right, that is correct. Well, congratulations, Benisha. It seems like you're the um winner for this this part great job everybody uh that marks the end of our spelling bee and congratulations to binisa for winning the sixth to eighth grade spelling bee division you were spelltastic and i guess we can call you queen bee now
Uh, yes, everyone was amazing. Thank you to all our contestants for participating and all of the audience for tuning in. We hope to see you in future events. While we wait for Anushka to pull up the spinner, we're going to do some trivia. So you can type it in the chat while I ask the questions. Uh, what is the hardest rock? Okay, um, someone said bedrock. Okay, the correct answer was diamond. Um, good job. Um, how many bones do sharks have? Okay, zero, seven, none. Two, zero, zero, 30, one. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, zero, you guys are really smart. Uh, the correct answer was zero, I saw a lot of zeros. Um, what is the first letter of the word tsunami? Wow, you guys are super smart. Okay, I think almost everyone got that right. It was T, that's correct. In, in Toy Story, who was the owner of Woody? Yep, everyone got it right. It was a not Elon Musk, Andy. Um, how tall is Mount Everest? Um, meter, 23 feet. Okay, the correct answer was 8,848 meters or 29,032 feet. I think some people got that. Um, who was known as the greatest boxer? Someone said me. Yes, Muhammad Ali, not The Rock, sorry. Um, another one is, who was the dad in Finding Nemo? George, no. Um, yes, I think it was Merlin. Um, what is the pH of water? Okay, yeah, everyone is saying seven. It is seven. Good job. 8.8 .8 if you're rich. <laughs> um, what borders um, Nepal to the east? Okay, one person said India, India. The US, um, okay. <laughs> no, the correct answer was India. How many bones are in a human body? I don't know this one. Someone said 350, someone said 209, um, 236, 206, 21, 186, 206, 234, 1,738. Um, well, the correct answer was 206. So I think someone got that. Uh, okay. Um, next is what is what does the word Dumbledore mean? I don't think anyone. Okay. <laughs> no, not doorknob. I said, uh, what does the word Dumbledore mean from Harry Potter? Someone said headmaster. Um, uh, uh, headmaster. Um, wizard. No, it. The correct one was bumblebee. So that's all for trivia. You guys are really good at trivia. I have a few more harder questions. Um, who was the person whose new nose grew longer every time he lied? 
Wow, you guys are good at this. Okay, this one is definitely harder. In the nursery rhyme, Jack and Jill, what did Jack and Jill go up the hill to fetch? Water, that's correct. Okay, um, let me find... Okay, let me find a harder one. This one's geography. Which ocean is off the California coast? Wow, you guys are good at this. I didn't even know that, to be honest. Um, this one's a pretty easy question. So if you guys don't get this, I'm gonna be disappointed. But according to the Dr. Seuss book, who stole Christmas? The Grinch, yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, um, how many pairs of wings does a butterfly have? Four, two, two, one, two, it's two, two pairs. Um, okay, let me try finding a harder one. Okay. What is a group of lions called? That one's pretty hard. I didn't know that myself. Pride. Okay, you guys are getting this right. I'm proud of you guys. Okay. Um, okay, this one's a history question. Who built the pyramids? Egyptians, ancient Egyptians. Someone said aliens. Okay, yeah, ancient Egyptians. Um, okay, this one's a Harry Potter question for the Harry Potter fans. What was Harry, What was the name of Harry Potter's pet owl? Hedwig, Hedwig. Yeah, you guys are right. Um, Okay, this one is a superhero related one. Um, name Batman's crime fighting partner. Robin, wow, you guys got that. I didn't think you guys would get that one. Okay, um, in, our in our solar system, what planet is known for having a ring? Saturn, yep, that's right. Saturn's also my favorite planet, fun fact. Um, okay, what is the largest mammal in the world? Whale, whale, human, whale, blue whale. Yeah, that's right, it's whale. Um, okay, let me try finding a harder question because you guys keep getting all of these right. Oh, this one's hard. A scientist that studies rocks is called a rockologist. <laughs> wow, I stumped you guys on that one, huh? Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Johnson. Yeah, I stumped you guys on that one. Only a few of you guys got it right. It was a geologist. Um, okay, so people suffer from arachnophobia, which is the fear of let's see what people said spiders, spiders. Yeah, that's right. I actually have arachnophobia, I hate spiders. Okay, now. Um, let me find a harder question to stump you guys on. Um, what kind of tree do acorns come from? Acorn tree, birch, oak tree, spruce. Those are all good answers, but it is an oak tree. Mm. 
Okay, uh, this one might stump some of you guys out there if you um, read it wrong, but it's, can you name the closest star to Earth? Okay, let's see what you guys said. Sun, sun, sun. Sirisa, do you know the answer? Is it sun? It is, that's right. Okay, great. Um, let's move on to... Sure. I'm gonna do a quick last minute shout out to everybody. So if you guys are on Facebook Live, I'm going to raffle. We're taking raffles for another one more minute, and then we're going to announce the winners. So if you're interested, Venmo Naya just $2 to win a $25 gift card and a super cute crew neck. I mean, $2 there, $25 bond. That's a great investment. And I think the crew necks are super cute. Um, so the are interested, it was Osens of Wani Naya Lai Venmo Gardner's $2 on a $25 gift card, on a super cute uh, Naya like sweatshirt down the top. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, we're taking raffle entries for just one more minute because we're going to end our program exactly at seven, okay? And it's Naya 2020. All right, I just got I just got another one. I'm getting I'm getting more, so it's easy. We don't have that many, so your chances are pretty high. Yeah, you guys should definitely enter in the raffle. The crew neck is really cute, and spending two dollars is a great investment for winning like a $25 visa or a crew neck. Okay, um, so this was great with trivia with Anuska, but um, let's see how you are now. How many Great Lakes are there? Oh, this one's all over the place. Some people say seven, some people say five. Sirsa, how much are there? Answer is five. Wow, I thought it was this seven. Really easy. Um, how many sides does a triangle have? Three, three. Yes. And three, everybody's saying three. Um what color are the Smurfs, guys? That one's an easy question. Yeah. Um, yeah, the answer is blue. What is the world's biggest island? Oh, I think I know that one. Greenland and Australia, Australia. Answer is Greenland, guys. Um, you guys are good at this. I have a hard one, or I think it's hard. So how many phases, uh, wait, how many phases of the moon are there? Okay, this one, um, most people got it right. There, there is eight phases of the moon. Guys, what, which horoscope, horoscope sign has a crab? The answer is cancer. All those trivia questions were really interesting. I definitely learned a lot of fun facts, but now I think we should move on and get our raffle ready. So since I didn't introduce myself, let me introduce myself. Hi everyone, I'm Anuska Podel. I'm a ninth grader at Chantilly High School and the communications director of Naya. I have the raffle ready to spin, so let's see who the winners are. Let me share my screen.
Okay. So the raffle is ready to spin. And just a reminder, the prizes are a crew neck and a $25 Visa gift card, which is really exciting. Okay, let's see who our winner is. Drum roll. So our winner is Ambika Bokro. Congratulations and thank you to everyone who participated in the raffle. Um, you will ha we'll have future raffles and future events and hopefully you guys will join again and win even better prizes. Um, now I would like to pass the stage on to Indu to say a few words. All right, everybody. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for a successful event. Um, to all my participants, would you guys be interested in doing another spelling bee or some type of competition in the near future? Let me know. Bisha, you and I think Sabrina just, just killed it. And I think... You guys did such a such an amazing job. I think Subway's out of you guys did so wonderful. Continue participating. It doesn't matter winners or losers. I think you learned so much along the way. Um, and I think, you know, we, we knew what we wanted. We knew what we wanted to do. But um, the more we see us, you know, venturing out and doing all these events, we have Agine uh, Pregya said so many wonderful things that what we're trying to do and what the Naya team is trying to accomplish. So Hope for Homeless, we're trying to do that. We're trying to raise funds to support animals in Nepal who are living in very, very poor conditions. Um, we are doing the backpack shoes and socks project in Nepal. So if you guys would like to support us, we would be super, super grateful. And um, the entire Naya team for putting the spelling bee together. I can't name names, but you guys know who you are. You guys worked so incredibly hard to put this event together and you guys are all so wonderful. And I love you guys. And this was wonderful. Thank you to our sponsors. Um, thank you to Inapolis always, always for giving us the platform to share our culture and share and network with um, everyone around us. So thank you, Ina, please. Thank you to our sponsors and thank you to Naya for having such a wonderful event. With that being said, congratulations, Sabrina. Congratulations, Benisha. Um, you guys did fantastic and congratulations to all the other participants that did such a wonderful job today. Um, all right, thank you everyone. And we will see you at the next, next Naya event.